to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. This iconic structure in the heart of Kolkata is unmissable. Often referred to as the Taj of the Raj, it was built in the memory of another empress, British Queen Victoria, after she died in 1901. The Victoria Memorial is still an iconic landmark of this city. In 1772, the capital of Bengal was shifted from Mushidabad to Calcutta by the first British Governor General Warren Hastings. Within the next few years, the city gained power as other port cities of Bombay and Madras came under it. It was from Calcutta that the British rose and ruled India all the way till 1911 when the capital was shifted to Delhi. But this was after Queen Victoria's time. Queen Victoria took the grand title of the Empress of India in 1876 after the control of India came under the crown following the revolt of 1857. It was under her that the British Empire really spread and thrived. She died in 1901 when she was 81 years old. While Victoria never visited India, she left her mark here. After her death, the then Viceroy of India, Lord Curzon, ordered that a fitting memorial be made in memory of the Queen. On the 4th of January 1906, the foundation stone of the memorial was laid by the then Prince of Wales, George V. It was after 15 long years that the gates of Victoria Memorial were opened to the public in 1921. It is said that this memorial was supposed to rival the Taj Mahal of Agra. In fact, the Victoria Memorial can be described as the Taj of the Raj. Not many would know, but before the Grand Victoria Memorial was constructed, the same place used to house the Presidency Jail. It was built here in 1778. The jail was eventually moved to Alipur in West Bengal. In 1906, and the old structure was pulled down to make way for the Victoria Memorial. Today this monument stands tall in the middle of modern-day Kolkata within acres of green. It has beautiful gardens and the Victoria Memorial Museum is one of the most visited museums in the country. It has a collection of around 28,000 artifacts displayed across many galleries that encapsulate the history of the subcontinent over the past three and a half centuries. The highlight of the museum is a large number of paintings by the famous pair of artists Thomas and William Daniel. While there are memorials for Queen Victoria in the cities of Lucknow, Chennai and even Allahabad, it is this one in Kolkata that truly stands out. It is a marvel of architecture in the city.